Hey guys, Arsp here. We are going to look at what is new in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. And first up, we will start looking at the brand new Spawn Island. Um, compared to other seasons beforehand, I think this one visually is probably the best. There's been a few interesting ones previously, but I think for me, certainly, this one has the wow factor to it. I mean, just the way it's set up, it's all over the place. We've got a large freaking castle in the middle. There's just so much going on in this beforehand, whereas normally you'd go into Spawn Island and you would just sit there and you'd wait for the game to start. But, uh, you know, with this one, there's there's lots to do. There's bits to explore, although there's no benefit. But for me, this next bit is probably the best thing that they've put into it. And for me, I think is absolutely fantastic because it ties your Spawn Island into actually getting into game. And as you see there, once it hits 10 seconds to go, the thruster at the back of the brand new battle bus kicks in. And then when it hits zero, it warps you straight into the game. I think that's an absolute great thing that they've done. Yes, it's a new map, but what we've got is some really great looking POIs um, as points of interest for those that didn't know what that is. Um, you know, visually, I think this brand new map is insane. You know, the quality of the buildings, the amalgamation between different types of modern technology and stylings as well. You know, this is the Citadel coming up. I, I wanted to include this one because it just looks amazing. Um, you know, look at look at the way it's built, the structure of it, how you can get in and around it. It's very Game of Thrones, um, Lord of the Rings style to it. It just looks really great. Plus, there's so much more in and around something. I mean, this is the Tundra location. Look at it. I mean, you've got almost like a, a kind of temple set up in and around here. And, the, and in the background, you've got like some sort of ice research station as well. And then here's a more modern building kind of set up with a bowling alley, as well as a few modern shops. And then right in beside it, you've got a, an old style vintage kind of village with, um, you know, a blacksmith's forge and, you know, we're getting new NPCs as well. There's Scrap Knight Jewels, for example. So they've, I think visually they've done fantastically well in the POI. Supply drones are making a return, not necessarily brand new. If you've played the Marvel season beforehand, you'll recognise these from Stark Industries where they'd be floating about and you'd shoot them down and get loot. So they're back. Capture named locations. This is brand new for Fortnite, but it's not a brand new concept for other Battle Royale style games. Um, and what you need to do, stay in the location. Um, the flag will rise. Once it hits the top, you will have captured the location. You'll get 500 XP. And what will also happen is you'll get uh, a good game bit of loot from it and you will also end up getting a ping going off very similar to the flare gun beforehand except this will ping all chest locations in a local area as well as any enemies and that includes enemy NPCs. so in this one here you'll see once i capture it that you will get to see where not only normal chests are you'll get to see where the oathbound chest is and you'll also to see where the boss npc the ageless is as well and i'll get a video up later on about de defeating that guy as well but i just think you know they've, they've added a lot of really good new content that i think will keep people occupied throughout and i think once people get used to these you'll probably see a bit more of a battle between people trying to take it and this here's the ping having just gone off you can see the normal chest the oath chest as well as the npc ageless bad guy or npc boss there as well so we have new weapons as we do with every season, but I think so far this is probably the funnest set for me. First up is the Excalibur rifle. This is a play on words on Excalibur, King Arthur's famous uh, sword of legend, and this ties in quite nicely with the theme that we have with the Ageless and the castles and stuff in and around, which we'll probably play more. But as you can see, 50 damage for striking and 50 explosion damage that scales up with rarity the one thing is it's very slow to reload so if you get the opportunity to get the augment which gives you light fingers and allows you to reload faster definitely do it if you've got one of these this also takes shotgun ammo rather than rifle ammo next up we have is the shockwave hammer this is becoming a fast favorite of mine and um, this is a really really handy weapon to have if you need to get out of the storm quickly or if you're getting chased through the storm or you just want to get away from somebody a couple of these in your inventory and you can cross the map very very quickly as you'll see here it, it takes a wee bit of playing about with pardon the pun just to um, figure out when to apply your attack button as you see here i get the victory royale with it but this is a fantastic weapon next up we've got is the uh, maven auto shotgun and um, 
handy wee weapon, does decent damage. Um, it's all right. This is my favorite. I really love using the thunder shotgun. I think it's overpowered. It's probably going to get nerfed, but this guy's tried to be clever and box me into the room and open up a window hatch to kill me. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for him, but great range, great damage. This is definitely going to get nerfed over the coming weeks, I feel, um, but it's a f bloody cracking gun. Next up, new stuff. What new stuff isn't there? Um, there's tons of it in this chapter and season, but first up we have is what I'm calling the kinetic stones. You find these, hit them and keep hitting them, and what you'll see is the wee waves go over the stone, and then you'll get a cone of circular energy blasting out. When you stop striking the stone, it will then launch the weapon forward. Um, and you know, you, look at that, it's destroyed a building. You can imagine what damage this could do to somebody if they're building or boxing you in. Next up we've got is hurdling. Hurdling is something brand new, hasn't been seen before. Very similar to mantling, which they introduced previously. Um, except this one is, as long as you've got the run button on, you will launch yourself over low level barriers um, and you will travail over the top without any issues. Oathbound chests are brand new into the game as well, although we have seen them in different variations beforehand. IO chests, Star Wars chests from the Star Wars crossover events, um, better than normal loot. Um, normally found inside medieval areas or the large castles, although you do find them on occasion out in the wild as well. Um, and I've found a number of them. I don't know if these are set locations though. The dirt bike. So the dirt bike's what we all seen in the trailer. These take a little bit of getting used to and if you're getting fired upon nine times out of ten it's you taking the damage. So be very very careful but you can jump with them and as you'll see when I'm fighting this guy while on it you can kind of launch yourself up into the air and over and while you're up um, you can do all kind of tricks and stunts and stuff with it as well. Um, it takes a wee bit of getting used to as well because it doesn't drive and steer quite as well as the other vehicles do, but it is immense fun to get in and get played with. One of the biggest changes to the games this season that we have never seen before is Augments. Augments um, will pop up randomly through game. Um, once they appear, they'll happen so often throughout the game automatically. You don't have to do anything special for it. But what you'll get is a 10 second countdown on this blue um, item on the right hand side just below the map right there. And um, when that's ready, you select your button to do it. It'll open up and it'll give you two options. You will also get the option to reroll for free. And then after that, it's 100 gold bars and then it probably goes up again after that and light fingers is the one i was talking about earlier on but it's a great addition to the game adds a little bit more nuance to the battles you can get all sorts of stuff and um, once we've finished seeing this we scene of how to use and how to select them we'll go into actually what we have in the main part of the game out with the actual um, battle and it'll go through the different types of augments there's four types we've got combat and as you can see, there's nine for that. I've managed to get seven of those so far. And it's just a, a slow run through just so you can kind of see what ones are there. Then we've got the game changer. You've, you know, the chug gunner is one thing, but the, the glider one, I think, is a big game changer for a lot of people. Mobility and scouting is another one. There's nine of these. I've only gotten five of them so far. Um, but there's some ones there that really do make a difference. And then the final one we have is looting. And I've only got one of those, but that's kind of what we're looking for. Now I think this is the biggest thing that will bring people back into the game, that's the new upcoming skins and characters. So from the trailer we've seen a number of things, we've had the Hulk, I think it was dead shot in the telephone booth beforehand, I'm not sure. We've got Mr Beast, um, and I'm assuming these guys beforehand there will all be a crossover, they'll pop up. As part of your battle pass we have the Doom Slayer from the Doom games, he comes in a different variation of different colours, but um, I think is a brilliant uh, addition to the battle pass. And the big one I think for a lot of people is going to be Geralt of Rivia from the Witcher games as well as the books and TV series. If you haven't played the games or read the books, get out there, get it done, it is excellent. And we also have My Hero Academia, um, which is going to be another one that's going to help tie and pull people back in. And we'll just have a quick look at the skins here. This is the Doom Slayer. Um, this is the what you'll get out of the battle pass first and then we'll get different versions of that there is a white version and um, there is a gold brown version and there's also a black one that will drop in mid-season um, and I don't know how we'll get those but they'll pop up at some point and we'll find out how and then the final skin that we will look at here will be the Geralt of Rivia one which uh, be similar to the Herald one from the previous season. We'll get one page in another. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Please like it, check out the channel, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.